Welcome back guys Hello guys the, uh, Now is we will discuss the code in the Arduino So this is the Arduino IDE So first uh, these are the libraries that I've used uh, This Arduino H is uh, required for us to use this uh, socket IO uh, You will get an error if you didn't include this library so obviously ESP2 uh, ESP8266 for our node MCU then our Arduino JSON so we use this library because the server will emit uh, objects so for us to uh, for us uh, for the hardware to get this value here we need this library so next is just define the serial in this variable so instead we when you want to serial print line so you have to use this variable so next is a declare variable for to connect to the Wi-Fi so the SSID and the password so this is the password of my Wi-Fi I will change it later forgot to remove this so next is the pin for our button and the LED so this is for just the status if it is triggered uh, turn on or turn turn on or turned off and this uh, this variable is we will use to emit to the clients uh, so I uh, put comments here so for for you for us to understand what's the purpose of the variable so we will store this into this variable here that's what i put here so next is we will declare the web socket at uh, the socket io from this library then store in this variable so all our other uh, functions from this library is we will use using this uh, variable so in our setup and the void setup part so we will just declare as an output oh, I didn't remove this currently we I forgot in my testing I used the lead the built-in LED of the node MCU so just disregard this part so serial is 11 511 uh, 115 200 that's what I used as the speed baud rate of my node MCU so the connect Wi-Fi method is here so with the SSID and the password he declared here in the top to just connect here so while it does not connected it will just print the serial monitor here just dots then if connected it will display the local IP you can check it in your uh, routers if the, the node MCU is already uh, in the DHCP part so you can check it there So in this is this part is for the, when we connect to our um, socket server. So this is the domain, but it is not working. Don't know why. So I change it to the IP of my server in Digital Ocean here and the port which is running using Docker. Don't know why it's not working so I I put issue in the github of the of this library so hopefully we will get a response so uh, let's discuss this later so the lead will declare as an output and uh, the button 
uh, input pull up <clears throat> for the uh, schematic diagram of the node MCU the lead and the button is just a simple uh, uh, the what you call this eh? pull up resistor in, you you will put a pull up resistor in the button so when when the and this part when it is read I, I mean pull down pull down resistor so it is always false here so when you release the button it is false here so it will not go inside this block of code so in the these three lines of code when the web socket receive message is just the same with the app so it will run this uh, <coughs> function here so the message is what the server uh, emit sample here this is the object this object is what will we receive in this variable <coughs> So dynamic JSON document will just declare a variable with a 1024 characters. Then the serialized JSON, this uh, variable we will store here in this variable. What it means here. So I de uh, declare variable short because it has only a value of 1 or 0. Then doc value we put value here because that what that's what the server emit here value. So the status which is only a boolean, just negate or false or vice versa. So if the value that was emitted by the server is one, so it will turn on or turn off. So it will depending on the status. So if one it will turn on else turn off so that's what this method here so if websocket on message control that button here this is what when uh, this is when you press the manual button in the hardware so same in the previous then emit to the server the logs for the uh, in the client to display so the same in the above uh, function on off the led but i didn't use the status here because when i use the status here because when i use it in this part uh, it will not function it will it will not follow the right that's supposed to be uh, the expected output so just here high and low so you can uh, when you you'll try the code uh, try to use the status variable here so you'll see what i mean don't work don't know So, lastly, when the hardware received the get status, it will just emit to all clients the status. So, if it is turned uh, to or false, one or zero. So, this uh, emit to server status always. This itawa is to convert. I uh, I just researched this in the Arduino forum. It is convert this uh, function will convert into character. That's why it's character here. Yes, yes. So when so when the client page is 
refreshed, then it will receive the status. So in, in the hardware, if it is turned on, then you refresh the app, it, the image of the bug there will be turned on also. So that's what the purpose of this function. So in our loop, in our loop, void loop, is a WebSocket loop. Uh, it's all in the documentation of the socket IO client library. I will also put the descript in the description the link. So in this if condition, if the button uh, if the button is pressed, so negate the status, then emit to all the clients. It will just turn on or turn off the LED. In this part, if you long press the button, so it will just stuck here and do nothing. Button will loop here because it is pulled up. So that's what it means. Uh, that's the purpose of this uh, line. Because if you didn't put this, it will just, uh, the button, uh, I mean the code will just loop in this if statement. So it will flood this part. So you need it, you need this. So that's all for the Arduino part. So in the next part, I will discuss the deployment in my uh, Ubuntu server. Uh, I use Docker and uh, for the certificate, I use Cloudflare. So see you guys there.